Hi, I'm Nick Brandreth, Historic Process Specialist at the George Eastman Museum. Today, we're going to show you what a darkroom is, what you might find inside, and how it's used. A dark room is exactly what it sounds like. It's a room that can be made completely dark. This is so a photographer can handle light sensitive photo material like film or photo paper without risk of exposing it to white light. A safe light is a light source with a specific colored filter, generally red, yellow, or orange in color. Safe lights are most commonly used when handling photographic paper. Unlike modern film, which is sensitive to red, green, and blue light, photographic paper is only sensitive to blue light, which means we can handle it under red safe light without any risk of ruining our paper. A paper safe is a light-proof box that allows you to safely store your photographic paper. Often when printing in the darkroom, a photographer will have to switch between safe light and white light to inspect their print. The paper safe ensures that you safely store your paper without the risk of exposing it to white light. When developing your own 35 millimeter or 120 film, you're going to need a reel and a tank like these. The film is loaded onto the reel in total darkness, which requires a bit of practice. But the reels help to keep the film from bunching up and sticking to itself during development. Once your film is loaded on the reel, it's placed in the tank, which has a special light-proof lid that allows processing chemistry to be poured in and out safely without exposing the film. An enlarger is used to make large prints from small negatives. Our piece of film is placed in a carrier that sits at the top of our enlarger. The enlarger head can be moved up or down in combination with different enlarging lenses. This will give us our desired size for our final print. Once the negative image is focused and you're happy with the size you've chosen, a piece of light sensitive paper is placed underneath and exposed to light and then processed into a positive image. Trays are used to hold your chemistry when developing photographic paper. Each is roughly the same size or slightly larger than the print you're making. The three most common chemicals used in the darkroom are developer, stop bath, and fixer. Developer is what makes the images appear on your photographic paper or film. It's a chemical that converts the silver grains in your film back into metallic silver. Stop bath is quite simple. It stops the development action. Fixer removes all the unused silver from your paper or film, ensuring that it's no longer sensitive to light. These are just some of the basic tools that you'll find in a darkroom. If you're eager to dig deeper, visit the museum's website and take a workshop with us to learn even more. 